Now, as the Somalian government continues to rebuild the country and its economy from scratch, we are keen to know what the country is doing to attract investments. Godfrey Motizwa spoke to Abdirahman Beyler, Minister of Finance, Republic of Somalia, to discuss this and much more. Well, uh, I'm a governor of the bank. Uh, as a finance minister from Somalia, I'm, I'm governor representing Somalia. So uh, this is the annual meeting of the bank. I must be here to participate. Yeah. in the discussions uh, of the bank affairs yeah. and also discuss uh, people who are coming here from different countries of course. Uh, on the issues of Somalia and where we are. Indeed. Yeah. So you're giving them an update. I want to share in that <coughs> update. What are, you telling, what are you telling them about the progress or lack of progress that you're making in Somalia? Uh, it is more of a positive story on Somalia today than ever it was for the last 27 or so years. And... Uh, uh, we are working very closely with the international community to re-engage ourselves with the IFIs, the international financial institutions, uh, one of which is, of course, the African Development Bank. Uh, we are working on uh, a roadmap uh, called the Staff Monitoring Program of the right. IMF. Already. Uh, already. Uh, this is the third one and probably the last one as far as uh, the HEPEC initiative is concerned, yeah. uh, as far as debt relief is concerned. Uh, yeah. as, uh, a uh, fragile country, we have been, uh, we have been uh, struggling with the debt yeah. that we have uh, with the international community. And to, to relieve that, you have to be on, the, on that roadmap with the IMF. Right. How are those discussions going? They are, they are, they are going very well. They are going very well. Uh, we had uh, the last discussion uh, we had in Addis uh, just uh, a month ago or so. Uh, we have uh, benchmarks that we have to fulfill, some conditionalities. Uh, conditionalities that uh, sometimes can be difficult, but they are very important for our country on how to manage your economy and how to use your expenditure, how to increase your revenue, yeah. how to strengthen your, your governance issues, financial governance and political governance. Yeah. Uh, now, those are, those are benchmarks that have to be fulfilled in, on a specific certain dates. Yeah. Yeah, end of this month, end of next month, and, and we are supervised. Uh, we are like students, you know. Right, yeah. And after that, uh, towards the beginning of next year, will be the decision point Right. Uh, through the roadmap of uh, debt relief. And, and we are very happy and we are very excited. Uh, yeah. Somalia has had its own uh, challenges, major challenges. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody else in, in the continent had the, the kind of experience that we had. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. we lost the government. Uh, Somalia was the only place in the, in the memorable history uh, yeah. in uh, that had no recognized government for 22 years. Yeah. No recognized government. 100%. So people running around without government and yeah. without police and without that. Can you imagine yeah. that? Yeah. But yeah. now we are coming out of that and yeah. we have to normalize our, our, our lives. And we all fixated on this security situation because yes. we still keep thinking that Somalia is unstable. There's still a war raging on in Somalia. Update us, please. I am, I am the Minister of Finance. My wife is there. My family is there. My kids are there. They go to school. Uh, I am uh, a diaspora, uh, somebody who lived uh, comfortably. In fact, I worked for the bank. I just retired two years ago. Sure. Uh, but uh, I feel comfortable. Uh, of course, there are pockets uh, of insecurity in the country. Uh, <coughs> but, uh, you know, w where is the safest place in Africa? Uh, look at the Google. Sure. <laughs> and sure. compare all the cities. Yeah. Mogadishu included. <laughs> and you will find out, you will su surprise yourself. <laughs> 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 I may well surprise myself, I agree with you. But so, 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 I want you to try to talk to investors who potentially could be looking at Somalia as a place to try and do business. Yes. I guess as Somalia, yes. when you say Somalia, you have got to do a lot more yes. in order to attract investors. What are you offering them? Now, uh, Somalia is, first of all, uh, we are being told uh, that we are rich in resources. Uh, we, we, you know that we have the longest coast in Africa. And oh, the, and, and okay. Yes, I learn longest, every day. Yeah, the longest is in, is, is in Somalia, nowhere else. Uh, and, uh, and, and they are telling me that we have some of the best fishes in the oceans. Uh, we, we need to exploit those. Uh, sure. we, we are also being told. Yeah. Well, yes, commercialize them. We are also being told that we are rich with oil and gas. We have just been told a few months ago that Somalia is one of the top uh, owners of res reserves of, of, of oil. We are working on that, but of course we have to first uh, do a security check. Yes. Number, number three, uh, Somalia has been destroyed, so everything now is beginning from it zero. It has to be rebuilt. It has to be rebuilt, so a lot of opportunities for real estate people, for yeah. people who do schools, uh, universities, and learning centers, yeah. and everything is from scratch. Yeah. And we are now uh, working on the 
regulations, uh, regulations and, and company laws and uh -huh. laws that govern, uh, govern those who are coming, entrepreneurship, yeah. and, and sending it to the parliament. So How far have you gone working. on that? Because I'd imagine in it you'd also build in incentives and that kind of thing. All those things are, uh, some of them have been approved by the parliament. Uh, we have the parliament already in place. And, and so we welcome everybody. I think people have to, have to come and explore what is in the Horn of Africa. Yeah. And, and now we are thinking beyond Somalia. Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, um, uh, Djibouti, and Eritrea yeah. are having uh, uh, some sort of uh, regional cooperation. Yes. I wouldn't say total, co uh, total integration, but uh, a regional project uh, coordinate, coordinated Well, there activities. are these winds that are blowing in that region because Absolutely. I think all of us Absolutely. know about the war between Ethiopia and Eritrea, and we yes. all know about the these are all in Somalia. Gone. These are all gone. I think we have, we have I'm just coming from Addis now. Uh, a, a week ago, I came. Uh, I was there in Addis. Five ministers came there from these five five countries I mentioned, and we are we are doing projects together. We are we are using the ocean, the, the Red Sea and, yes, and yes. the Indian Ocean, yes. and uh, going to the to the hinterland of the continent. Yeah. So uh, your 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 conversation tie in very neatly with the conversation around regional yes, economic yes, integration yes, across yes. the African continent. Yes. Plus, of course, the development of infrastructure that. Yes. facilitates intra-African trade. You know, if you look, if you look at the, the African intra-trade and uh, uh, the, the uh, what is it called now, the, the uh, Cape Town to Cairo. Uh, or oh, the Africa Free uh, Africa, Continental yeah, Trade yeah, Agreement. Exactly, exactly. Yes. That horn it was away because Somalia was in problems. But today uh, we are catching up and we are working on them and we have corridors that we are working on between Kenya and Somalia, Somalia and Ethiopia, Somalia and Djibouti, Djibouti and Eritrea and Eritrea and Ethiopia. And I think before you know it, uh, we will be able to we'll catch up sure. with the rest of the continent and maybe bypass. I, I really think that the commitment that we have, we learn from our mistakes sure. as Somalis. And, and the diaspora is very, very light. Yeah. Everywhere you go there, you will see Somali traders. Absolutely. Final uh, message, and Minister, and I want you to drive it to, to direct that message into the camera to investors who potentially are thinking about coming into Somalia. Yes. We are, we, are, we are ready, and uh, our, our doors are open for the international community, those business people who are exploring places to go. It is Somalia, because we have, you named resources, and we have them. We are working on the security. We are putting in place rules and regulations that will welcome you. Uh, the company law has just been approved by the, uh, by the parliament, uh, and therefore, uh, come and explore. Come and explore. We live there. We stay there. Mogadishu is not... Uh, and I invite you to Google the most uh, the riskiest cities in Africa uh, and place Mogadishu somewhere. <laughs>